He's popular, NFL and Fox analyst, and uh, he's written a book. It's uh, Wake Up Happy, the dream big win, big guide to transform your life. He's got the uh, new suit line collection by Michael Strahan, sold to J.C. Penney. He is a mogul is what he is. Michael Strahan back on the program. Hi, Mike. Hey, I thought we agreed you were going to say I was handsome in these. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Oh, yeah, handsome, Mike. Mike, Mike Hey, I paid an extra 20 bucks for this. (laughs) Uh, Have you signed body parts, autographed body parts before? Yes, I have. Absolutely. What uh, you know, actually, well, well, on men, it's like arms, and one guy signed his arm, and then I saw him like at a game, like a month and a half later, and he, he had he went straight to the tattoo parlor, oh boy, and had it tattooed on, and and at that point, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you. What about women? And um, women, I've signed breasts. Yes, I've signed breasts, and there's nothing wrong with that. To each their own. <laughs> how how careful are you with your penmanship when you're uh, when you're signing breasts? Well, you can't go too low. I mean, you know, you can't you can't get like a, a you know a charge or anything like that. You you ask them first if they say sign right here, and you go, "Are you sure?" And then they say yes. And you say, "Well, I need two witnesses." So then you bring two other people over to make sure that they hear it too, <laughs> and and then you get a video camera. And you Skype it live so that everybody knows nice. that nothing went on. It was not approved. Yes. Uh, do you still feel like a football player? Um, sometimes. There are, to- there are times that I forget I even played. There are times a lot of people forget I played. A lot of times <laughs> people don't even know I played. And I don't take offense to that. It's actually a good thing. It means that, you know, life after football has been good. But there are times when I look and I go, man, I could still get out there and play if I wanted to. But what leaves you? If, if it's not your health, what, what's the first thing to leave in, uh, a football player? Uh, you know, um, Howie Long and I had the same coach, Earl Leggett. And uh, Earl used to say it to us all the time. And it's one of the reasons I retired. And you see this in guys all the time. Earl used to say when your game leaves, you don't know when it's going to go. It's going to go early in the season, middle of the season, or late in the season. But when it goes, it goes fast. And I think that that is true. I think mentally, a lot of guys physically, but for me, I think mentally, I was just done. I was tired. I, did, I couldn't get the same elevation on the stomp you out anymore. You know, it was about time to, to, to wrap it up for me. I think mentally I got worn out more than physically. Do you have a different personality on uh, the NFL on Fox than you do with Kelly? Uh, no, actually. I just get more time to talk with Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to deal with a Bradshaw on Kelly. Yeah. But you know what? But the guys are incredible, man. I mean, it's like family. and We have a great time. It's fun. And um, it's actually really, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to bounce some uh, things off around everybody. And, and it's a little less pressure. But I, um, no, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm the same guy with every show. That's the great thing about it. I don't really have to change. And you write a book called Wake Up Happy, and you know this can work against you when you're in a bad mood because somebody's going to say, oh, uh, what happened to Mr. Wake Up Happy? Well, I didn't say how you put the act during the rest of the day. Oh, so you just wake up you, you happy. <laughs> 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 so you can be in a bad mood the rest of the day, but you're, hey, I wake woke up, up happy. happy. Go to bed. Wake up happy, go to bed mad. That's the next book. Ooh. But, um... But no, you know what? I, it, the book is about wake up happy, about how to enjoy and how to find joy in, in, um, in everything you do and how to change your mentality from, you know, a lot of times we wake up and it's kind of, and I know for me, I'm the same way. And a lot of people go, wow, you know, this guy, the football player, he's doing great. He's doing this and he's doing that. And that doesn't make you happy. It's not about money. It's not about um, fame. It's about mentality. And I just know things that have changed my attitude because I was not always happy when I had success that have, I feel, made me more successful and made me, have helped me enjoy my life more and, and be more connected to my friends and my family and everybody else. And that's really what the book is about, how you can change your mentality and, and, and change your life. Yeah, but what changes in you where, you know, do you have this epiphany where, hey, I, I started to see the bigger picture, or I'm smarter about, you know, looking at life as opposed to being selfish and being a star athlete? Something has to change, well, I think right? We, yeah, things definitely. I think that there are several things that change. 
I had different parts of my life where it's always been a moment. I mean, when my brothers used to say I'm, I was chunky and it made me start buying a Jane Fonda workout tapes and working out, that was a change. When I was in college and wanted to quit, my dad said, you got to go back to school and you're going to do it. And that was a change in my mentality. And, Wait, you um, did the Jane Fonda my, workout? Um, yeah, I used to. That's how I got started working out. I used to do the Jane Fonda tapes. Because my brothers called me Bob, which meant booty on back, <laughs> and um, uh, I was a little chunky. So, uh, did you ever so, tell uh, Jane Fonda that, that you worked out to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jane that's Fonda cool. came, has come on the show a few times, and she loved it. She loved it. <laughs> and um, so that's how I really got started working out with Jane Fonda. Thank goodness for Jane Fonda. And then I um, bought the Herschel Walker workout book. You know, Herschel talks about a thousand push ups and sit ups every day, and I started doing that. And um, that's really what motivated me was something that was hurtful by being called chunky or fat. I turned a negative into a positive, and that was the first time I realized I could change something that I didn't like if I really wanted. But then there are always challenges. I didn't want to go back to school after my first semester. My dad was like, what are you going to do? And "Ah, You know what, I'll just stay here and get a job. And he looked at me and said, what are you going to do? And it was a matter of, in his words, when, not if. So he's always a big when guy. never tells me if. Because nothing should be doubted. If you really want it, you believe when it's going to happen, it'll happen in time. You just have to be patient and work hard for it. And, um, you know, and, and, and even just transitioning from football to talking about football to doing daytime television, I think your mentality helps you do things that other people want to doubt you about. Maybe you can doubt yourself. But if you can convince yourself and, and, and be kind to yourself, we always want to encourage other people, but we never really encourage ourselves and tell ourselves we can be successful. And um, that's what you really got to learn to do. We love to tell our kids they can do something, but in our own heads, we doubt we can do it. Do you think Ronda Rousey could beat you up? Um, you know, she was on the show. Yeah. And to be honest with you, hmm, it would be a pretty good tussle. It'd be a pretty good tussle, man. She was kneeing me, and I had that, that bodyguard on, and I ain't going to lie, I felt it. <laughs> bodyguard didn't do much, and I can only imagine... If I didn't have it on, how I would feel. There was, and I don't know. Like she's, a, she's tough. There was a moment, what was it, last weekend when Terry Bradshaw was taking uh, Greg Hardy to task. And I'm curious how, like, you know in advance that Terry is going to say something about Greg Hardy. Maybe it's rehearsed. But the reaction that you guys have, how does that work? That Does, does everybody know what everybody's going to say about Greg Hardy after Terry takes him to task? No, zero. We don't know what each other's going to say. We don't know what each other's going to say there. I don't, even, I don't even know what Kelly's going to say. I don't even know. When I ask Kelly, what have you done last night? That's the first time I'm hearing about it. And on the, show, on the Fox, we don't know what each other's going to say. Because you don't want to give your notes out, and then another guy takes what you're going to say, and then when it's your turn to talk, you're, you're over there going, duh, 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 duh. So when Bradshaw says what he has to say, it kind of caught all of us off guard, I, I think. But, you know, I applaud him. He has an opinion, and it's a strong opinion, and he sticks with it. He goes after it, and you know what? I can respect somebody with an opinion. Uh, great to catch up with you. Congrats on everything, and uh, your Giants looking, uh, looking competitive. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, I, you've always been a good friend. I was watching some video of us at the Super Bowl and me pushing your guy around. Oh, out Paulie. On the ice you heard him that Paulie, day. Paulie, we could read I heard him? Yeah, you did. Just well, he wouldn't stand ribs. a chance with Ronda Rousey then. <laughs> no, no, no. But he would try. But he, yeah, you heard his ribs. You, you got him good. Yeah, Paulie. I'd like I to didn't re- even hit the man. Wait, my, Mike. Tell him to drink wait, more milk. Wait, um, Mike, Paulie wants to say something. I, I would like, I think Mike was hinting at a rematch. And oh, I would like a rematch because no. I went against uh, oh. NFL Michael Strahan. And daytime TV host Michael Strahan, I think Whoa. I have a shot at. No, you just called him soft. He's a mogul, but he. And you know. He just called you Bob. You, well, you know what's so great? Daytime Michael Strahan is, is wake up happy Michael Strahan, and I'm going to wake up happy to beat your ass. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Can't wait. <laughs> wow. That's his next book. Can't wait, big boy. I'm coming for you. Dad, Dad, wake up happy. Can't wait to beat your ass. Michael Strahan. Uh, hey, uh, good to talk to you, Michael. Good luck with the book. Thank you, man. Thank you, fellas. Right. Always uh, fun. Michael Strahan. The book is uh, Wake Up Happy. The dream big, win big guide to transforming your life.